So I realized recently that I think I'm doing everything in a Lego city wrong. And I just need to reevaluate, try some different things. And that's why I'm here at Target today. Woo! To try and plan things out correctly. In the Lego city, I'm very much like a doer. Like I want to get things done and like accomplish things and just like set goals and do it. I don't want to plan. I'm not a planner. I've never been a planner. I don't want to plan the Lego city. I just want to make Mills plates and put sets on them. And that just, it doesn't work. It's not going to work. It never worked. And then I just start over and that just kind of happens over and over. So I'm at Target today <laughs> to finally fix the problem. I'm going to get a bunch of base plates. We already have a lot, but our Lego city's huge and we need more. And at this point, I think I need like 10 or 15 more base plates, hopefully green, because I just feel like it looks nicer. If I'm trying to make like a land mass area, I don't want it to be blue. That's like for oceans and water. I want it green. I know it doesn't actually matter because we're doing a mill system. So like it'll be covered up anyways, but I want green. <laughs> so let's head inside. Let's clear them out of the green base plates today and hopefully they have them. Also, a lot of new sets just came out. So I'm hoping to find them on the shelves today. So I just got to the Lego aisle, but I wanted to show you guys this really cute shirt I found. It's a little bit out there, just very neon, but I'm into it. We have Scooby-Doo and they never have Scooby anything here. So I'm just really excited to find this. It was like 13 bucks. So I'm definitely gonna be getting it today. Very excited. You'll definitely see this a lot. <laughs> but now let's check it out and see if there's any new sets on the shelves as well as find those base plates. There's actually tons of Ninjago here in stock, which is kind of cool. But the one that really catches my eye is this one, the Ninja Dojo Temple. I feel like this would look so cool in Disney World. Like, I don't even know what I would do with it, but it's just like a beautiful facade in the front. There's nothing really too crazy going on with Star Wars. Just tons of the helmets, the Imperial shuttle from last year. We do have a lot of the Dark Trooper battle packs though, but I think we have five or six already. I think we're good for now. If they go on sale, I'll probably pick up some more. And then Boa Fett's Palace. We found this one. Oh my gosh, this, do you see this? This is so sad. I've seen some pictures about this on Reddit where they're like protecting the sets from theft, which makes sense, but man they like destroyed the box in the process so that's really lame anyways um yeah i found this one at costco recently for i think 60 bucks so a little bit better of a discount but yeah this box is rough but i will say the figure selection is really good though i've seen a lot of these figures popping up at bricks and minifigs recently and we've been so tempted to buy a few more of them the bad batch shuttle up there and it looks like that wire around it didn't completely destroy the box so that's good that's just such a bummer that it happened to this one oh, and then these lego city sets down here i love the animals in them they just look so good like all the different elephants the baby elephant the monkey the gator or crocodile i assume crocodile i don't know i actually don't know the difference even being from florida i don't know but then finally the main reason we're here today is for base plates and this has actually never happened where they have the right color in a lot of them in stock like normally they might have like one or two and then all of them are like giant gray ones that i can't use um so i'm probably just gonna grab a bunch of these here how many are there so there's 13 base plates here i think i'm gonna grab them all because we really need a lot for the city i feel like it looks a little excessive carrying this many but i really do need them all anyways let's check out what's going on with lego friends unfortunately so far i don't see any of the new sets here i really love the new friends wave and i was hoping to see the brand new muppets theater or sorry andrea's theater school on the shelves because i love that set so much it's just so beautiful the box art is fantastic but i just don't see that one yet they have some of the stuff from the older wave, like the January 2022, but nothing from summer yet. But then right on the other side of the aisle, check out this set here. So this is obviously not Lego. This is Mega Constructs, but that doll looks so cool. I really do wish that Lego had the rights to Pokemon. These just look fantastic and like the design of it looks really nice. So maybe one day, but I definitely don't think it will. But you know, maybe we can always just be hopeful, right? Unfortunately, it looks like the only new thing on the shelves right now is this Lightyear Zerg battle. It's a very simple kind of set, but for 30 bucks i do think it's worth it you get this giant mech of zerg which is pretty cool it is a bit smaller than the build a buzz from 2010 but it's still great to have another zerg and then they have a bunch of speed champions in stock here i still need to build the ones that i got from lan so stay tuned for a build stream soon i really want to just get those done probably build them with ross just to experience that with him for the first time and then this Technic one, this would probably be my first ever Technic set if I do decide to get one. It just looks like a really nice tractor. It doesn't look super scary. Like that one kind of looks a little scary to me. This one does not look scary. I still love this Creator 3-in-1 pirate ship though. That one just looks so nice. And that building to the side, that would look so cool in a Lego city. So still thinking about it, but I don't need it. You know, it's like a hundred bucks. I really don't need the set. And then of course the tiger. I'm really thinking about getting this one soon, but like it's 50 bucks. Like I don't need it, you know? but the FOMO is really sitting in. Like all my friends have this set. I really want it. It's so funny. Like it's obviously just like a living meme because of, you know, so we'll see if it ever happens. <laughs> and then out here we have a few more of the more expensive sets, the Elf Clubhouse kind of out of season, but I'm here for it. 
We have the Vespa down there. It looks like a really cute build, but this just looks like a hermit crab to me. But yeah, just looking at the shelves right now, they seem pretty sparse. They're usually a lot more stocked up than this, so that's kind of disappointing. And then especially Harry Potter. I think they're just making room maybe for the new Harry Potter sets that are coming soon. It's like late June for us here in the US. So I really can't wait for those. They just look so good. And I see a lot of potential for adding them to the Lego city. Alrighty, so I just left the Lego aisle, but I have all my face plates here, like all 13. I have my Scooby shirt. I am happy, but I am a little bit disappointed. There wasn't any new sets on the shelves yet. It's kind of weird, right? So I don't know. Hopefully next time I'm here, we'll get to see some new sets. But again, I am excited that I got all my base plates. It's like the most boring thing to buy a ton of, but I really need them for the city. So this is really good. I found them. Plus check it out. They're all paper. Have y'all seen that yet? But before we head it out, I wanted to check out like the Disney area because usually they have a lot of Lego in stock. So it looks like they have Rapunzel's Tower. I still want to build my own version of this as a mock because I don't need all these little builds in there and that's adding a lot to the price. Plus just like the Disney markup is insane so i'm just gonna make my own i don't want to pay 60 dollars for that and then the mickey and friends they're so cute and i'm really excited for the new wave i think they come out august 1st they also have a lot of black series here but i don't know what ross is looking for or what he already has so i'm not gonna buy any but they have pre vizsla scout trooper bad batch pretty decent selection it's better than normal at least Alrighty, so i didn't need anything in the disney area really i think it's just the base plates and my t-shirt today so not the most exciting haul again but you know it's important for the city we're finally making progress in there so definitely stay tuned for some more city updates i've been working a lot in there and it's just been a lot of fun finally seeing some progress being made all right here's my base plate just checked out gosh i don't know what it is but i always feel like i'm wasting so much money when i'm buying base plates i mean it's just such like a small cheap thing it's only eight dollars each but it adds up so quickly and you need so many to cover the whole city it's my least favorite thing to buy like even buying pieces from the pad wall is so exciting and like you get to be creative with whatever you're buying there you know it'll turn into something beautiful or the pieces will just kind of sit in a cup forever but normally i do try to use them for something fun but yeah base plates are just like the least exciting thing to ever buy and it just feels like a waste of money but it's worth it you need them they're necessary so it's fine. But yeah, so before we do head out, I do want to show you like more about this paper packaging. It's so cool, so nice. It feels like really good. I don't know, it's just like a very satisfying kind of thing. I'm just gonna set you guys down there. Um, so when you open it, it's like kind of difficult to tear. Like it's a very, I don't know, it's like a very like thick paper. It's kind of like waxy on the inside. I just love it. It's just so satisfying. It's different. We're saving the planet. There's no more plastic besides the giant plastic that's inside but we're saving the earth, it's great. So yeah, figured I should let y'all know about the new packaging situation. Anyways, thank you all so much for coming with me today to Target. I love coming to Target. I got my cool new Scooby shirt that I'll wear at some point. I really like it. Just the neon is kind of fun. It is a black shirt, so I don't know how much I'll wear that in summer. Definitely stay tuned for some city updates coming soon. All of these base plates will be placed into our city probably like in 30 minutes when I get home. So definitely expect more city content. If you are interested in that kind of thing, please do consider subscribing down below. If you enjoy that, then stick around for a while, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. I really appreciate it. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you next time.